I'm talking about positive and expiratory pressure. Make it make sense. So PEEP, also known as positive and expiratory pressure, is the pressure that's left in the lungs at the end of expiration. For this video, I'm only going to be talking about extrinsic PEEP, not going to be talking about intrinsic PEEP, which would be like auto PEEP, not going to get into that. Right now, I'm going to be talking about PEEP that you would see on a ventilator, so invasive ventilation or non-invasive ventilation like a BiPAP. One of the main reasons that you will see PEEP utilized is when we are using it on our patients to improve oxygenation if they are having some type of acute lung injury or if they are in ARDS. You will see PEEP utilized on a variety of vent settings, even on like your quote unquote normal vent settings, you will see physiological PEEP be used, which is anywhere about five to eight centimeters. Um, that's what they typically will use as like a normal PEEP level. However, when our patients start to get into ARDS or they have a really bad acute lung injury, what happens is that we start giving them more and more oxygen. And despite giving them more and more oxygen, we don't see really much improvement on their PaO2 on their ABG. So people that are in ARDS have alveoli go from this nice and open where they can have adequate perfusion and ventilation and there's no problem. We can, we can ventilate and oxygenate these people very well. So this is a normal kind of alveoli. However, patients that are in ARDS go like this where it's all collapsed, it's filled with fluid, it becomes stiff and non-compliant and it makes it really difficult to oxygenate and ventilate these people. So if you have that collapsed alveoli, no matter how much oxygen you're going to be giving these people, if we don't kind of pop that alveoli back open, not going to get very far, which is when PEEP comes into play. So say I'm trying to oxygenate and ventilate my patient here with no PEEP. You can see that it kind of goes back to baseline. You can see it has wrinkles in it and this little quote unquote lung. It's kind of collapsed. It goes back to a relative baseline with no PEEP. So those alveoli, every time that you're at an expiration, they go back to being collapsed, which is not what we want. However, if we add PEEP, so this is a PEEP valve, this is at set at 15, you can see the difference in the glove. Look how inflated that remains with every squeeze. That's basically what PEEP does. It keeps that alveoli nice and open, which is what we want so we can adequately oxygenate these people. So remember, PEEP allows alveoli to stay open, which is what we want. Nice open alveoli. That is gross. Why do you like them?